had a chance to sell some property to Dunkin' Donuts. They want to put it in a new shop. He said, I've got this corner and I've got somebody willing to pay me $650,000 for this village lot. When you have somebody who picks up a property trying to turn it into something that's profitable and that person gets denied the opportunity to do that, he got very upset. I'm Hank Grobart, the toilet man. He started put, putting them everywhere. We were very upset about it. The toilet placement is perfect! It's not a joke. I mean, it's been nationwide on TV. There's an awful lot of community support for what he's doing. You start to wonder if these people gone cuckoo. If I wouldn't get in trouble, I'd take a sledgehammer and break every freaking one of them. He'd put the latest toilets up after his rental house was destroyed in an arson. <laughs> it started a pretty big fire. <laughs> they immediately started to look for ways to take them down using the village law. And it's done to bully people. And I believe I wasn't hurting nobody. That's when the village charged him. We tried to tell them ahead of time, don't do this. Don't do this to Hank Robar. Robar filed a federal lawsuit seeking $7 million. This would be a matter that I would love to see make it all the way to the United States Supreme Court. You screw a man over, I mean, what do you expect?